eat more fibers we all have heard it many times dear learners this module focuses on the use of fiber in the functional food and product development similarly it also explores the scientific evidence on how fiber helps in preventing many lifestyle related diseases hello learners in this particular module we are going to learn the application of dietary fiber as a functional food and also we will try to understand the physiological and health benefits of dietary fiber let us now first see the application of dietary fiber as a functional food fiber in the food can change their consistency texture rheological behavior and sensory characteristics of the end product the emergence of novel sources of fiber have been offering new prospects in their use in the food industry among the food enriched in with fiber the most known and consumed are the breakfast cereals bakery products such as integral bread cookies as well as milk and meat derived products for the pasta anti sticking characteristics of certain fibers of oats barley soy rice bran etc help to facilitate the extrusion process and may also contribute to a dough strength or improves steam table life of the cooked pasta in bread making incorporation of fiber ingredient reported to increase water hydration addition of dietary fiber to bakery products also improves their nutritional quality since it makes it possible to decrease the fat content by dietary fiber as a substitute of fat without loss of quality it can be concluded that replacement of wheat flour with defatted rice bran could be used without adversely affecting physical and sensory characteristics of cookies addition of fiber ingredients such as alginate guar gum and cellulose gel not only replace the fat but also serves to provide viscosity improves emulsion foam freeze and thaw stability controls the melting properties reduce the synergies promote formation of smaller ice crystal in case of beverages and drinks addition of dietary fiber increases their viscosity stability soluble fiber being the most used because it is more dispersible in water than in soluble fiber dietary fiber based on pectin cellulose soy wheat maize or rice isolates and beet fiber can be used for improving the texture of meat products such as sausages salami and at the same time are adequate to prepare low fat dietary products such as dietetic hamburgers let us now understand the health benefits of dietary fiber the consumption of healthy low calorie and nutritionally balanced food containing dietary fiber has become a growing focus among the population role of dietary fiber has been proved in managing blood glucose levels lipid profile improvement constipation weight management to name few let us now understand this health benefits and their mechanism of action laxation and dietary fiber dietary fiber mechanism which is associated with laxation is because of fiber increases the stool weight and bulk volume by microbiota physical volume and water holding capacity gas volume trapped in the stool to increase the bowel movement and frequency quality fiber from the whole grains rice bran fruits is recommended polydextrose psyllium inulin has a potential to treat the constipation combination of soluble fiber and insoluble fiber through rice bran wheat bran has shown a promising result in treatment of constipation let us now see fiber and cardiovascular protection epidemiological studies suggested that adequate fiber intake 
consistently lower the risk of cardiovascular disease primarily through the reduction in low density lipoprotein levels the result of randomized suggests that fiber may play a beneficial role in reducing c reactive protein levels apolipoprotein levels and blood pressure all of which are biomarkers of heart disease water soluble fiber specially beta glucan psyllium pectin and guargum were the most effective for lowering serum ldl cholesterol concentration without affecting high density lipoprotein concentration in us there are accepted health claims for ability of the oats barley and psyllium to lower the blood lipids other soluble fibers like glucans and pectins have recognized the ability to lower the blood lipids regulation in individual countries and determines the labeling claims let us now see the third benefit fiber and type 2 diabetes there are many theories surrounding relationship between fiber intake and type 2 diabetes for the example regular consumption of recommended amount of fiber has potential to attenuate glucose absorption rate prevent weight gain increase the load of beneficial nutrients antioxidant in the diet and all of which may help to prevent diabetes numerous large scale cohort studies support a strong inverse relationship between dietary fiber consumption and development of type 2 diabetes 15 grams of fiber per day has significant impact on lowering diabetic risk people who ate high amount of insoluble fiber say more than 17 grams per day or cereal fibers more than 8 grams per day had a less chances of diabetic risk fiber and appetite control multiple mechanism describes how fiber influence satiety greater satisfaction may be a product of increase time required to chew the fiber rich food increased time of chewing promotes saliva and gastric acid production which may increase gastric distension some soluble viscous fiber binds the water which may also increase the distension as a food moves through upper and lower gastrointestinal tract various satiety related signals are sent to the brain and many of these gut hormones like ghrelin polypeptide glucon like peptide are thought to regulate the satiety food intake and overall energy balance let's now see prebiotic effect and short chain fatty acid production fermentable fibers may provide a number of health benefit by altering the composition of intestinal flora prebiotic are non digestible substances that provide a beneficial physiological effect to the host by selectively stimulating the favorable growth or activity of a limited number of indigenous bacteria lactobacilli which are considered beneficial to human health the benefits of prebiotic include improvement in gut barrier functions host immunity reduction of potential pathogenic bacteria subpopulation and enhance short chain fatty acid production let's conclude learners dietary fiber whole grains contain a unique blend of bioactive component including resistant starch vitamins minerals phytochemicals have potential health benefits we have seen how fiber shows a promising result in preventing metabolic syndrome improving gut health to immunity mechanism of action is attributed to several factors like increasing bile acid excretion increase short chain fatty acid carcinogen binding effects to name few however further studies are needed in certain areas of dietary fiber and sub fractions like beta glucans resistant starch which may give a better understanding and mechanism behind it